one. Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're having a great morning or a great day whenever you're watching this. So, I wanna say hello to all of our friends. That's hello Addie and Alfred and Allie. Hello uh, Autumn and Gwen and Harper and Hattie and Henry. Hello James and Jackson. Hello Jonah and Jordy and Kinsley. Hello to Kendall and Kinsley and Lacey and Laurel and Layla. And hello to Levi and Lucas and Lukey. Hello to Macy and Maddie and Melissa and Nora and Noah. Hello there. Hello Raylan and Reagan and Remy and Sadie and Sophia and Zoe. Hello everyone. All right, let's do our good morning song. Ready? This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Okay, everyone, I want you to put your arms around you and give yourself a big hug. That's incredible. That is amazing that you did such a big hug. All right, we're gonna do our pl uh, pledges now. So I need everybody to stand up. You need to put Bun Bun down for right now. And we're gonna put, here's our American flag. I think you've got one at home that you might have colored. So let's put out your right hand and salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Did you guys see that what I did? I stood up, I wasn't leaning on anything, and I had my hand. Yep, that's true, your shirt looks like uh, the flag. It's got uh, stripes and stars stripes on the blue. Mm -hmm. But now it's our time to do the Christian flag. So stand up everyone, put your hands down to the side. Now put your arm out, your right arm out, and salute. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Very good. Now it's time for our Bible. James, are you going to hold that for me? Yes. I'm going to put Bun Bun right there. Okay. All right. The Bible's really heavy. Yeah, yeah. If you have a Bible, it must be heavy. Well, no, I have. there are other Bibles that are smaller, but this is just the one I have here. All right. So, I need everybody to put out your right hand and salute. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Okay, you're supposed to be holding it. Oh. You're falling down on the job. All right, we're going to, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, Bible. Fantastic. Yes. Now, what is the Bible? Bible is God's truly holy word. It is, and all the words in it are what? True. That's right. Okay. Well, let's see. Let me see who I haven't called on lately. Jackson, have I called on you lately? I'm going to have you tell us what month we're in. That's right, it's March. All right, so let's sing our uh, months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Great job. Okay, we are getting so close to the end of the month. And we have four seasons. We have autumn, sp uh, winter, spring, and summer. So autumn, what uh, month, what season are we in? That's right, it is spring. Okay, you need to sit still. Um, 
It is March. And let's look up here at the calendar. Let's see how many days we have in March. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. You know how many jumps that is, Harper? 26. That is 26 jumps. Okay, everybody stand up. Oh, I can do more than 26. Well, we're just going to, I know you can do more, but we're just going to do 26. Ready? One, two, two three, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Whoa. I almost jumped out uh, of the room. If you have your uh, sippy cup or your water bottle, you may want to take a, 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 some uh, water right now because we jumped a whole lot. So, it is March the 26th. Hmm, Raylan, what day of the week is it? That's right, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Okay, let's look here, and um, let's see. Gwen, what's, what do we do on uh, on the first day on Sunday? We go to we go to church, don't we? Or we listen to church on TV for right now. Yeah. And let's see, Nora, what do we do on Monday? We had PE, right? Mm -hmm. And then on Tuesday, hmm, Lucas, what do we do then? That's our science day, and I made a special video for you about science and germs. And then yesterday was Wednesday, and we did the music. We did a lot of music yesterday. Today, Today is, is art. Thursday, and it is art. That is right. Mm -hmm. Let me show you what I'm gonna, we're going to be doing. We're going to be making some spring trees. I went to school today because I had to get some things, and I saw the trees are blooming with these pink flowers, and it is so pretty. And it seemed so strange because they weren't blooming when we were last there. So what we're doing is I made an outline of a tree and you're going to be decorating to look like a spring tree. Now James did this with his fingerprints and he did some green leaves and some pink. And then I did this one. And do you know how I did those little leaves? I used a Lego. I dipped it. I would, you can dip the Lego in paint and then just press it on. Isn't that amazing? And you can do it in different ways. Um, you can put down paper. Let's see, like uh, tissue paper, and you can make leaves and then make little balls of it for the um, flowers. Or you can go outside and find some things, some leaves and flowers, and glue them on. So you're going to be making a spring uh, tree for art today. Okay. And let's see, tomorrow, what is tomorrow? Friday. And Friday is our special day because we don't normally have school on Friday. But we are, uh, we'll have these videos anyway. Okay, so we've done the days of the week. We need to do the rules, all right? So everybody, curl up. James, you need to put Bun Bun down. All right, ready? Curl up. Curl up into as small as ball as you can be. The red rule says to keep your body to yourself. Your body to yourself. Your body to yourself. The red rule says to keep your body to yourself. All day long. All right, stand up. The orange rule says to be quick to obey. Quick to obey. Quick to obey. The orange rule says to be quick to obey. All day long. So, let's sit down. We're going to do the golden rule. Let me see your smile. All right. The golden rule says be kind to others. Kind to others. Kind to others. Golden rule says be kind to others all day long. The stand up. The green rule says to use your walking feet. Walking feet. Walking feet. The green rule says to use your walking feet all day long. All right, sit back down. Everybody sit down. 
Put your hand on your throat. The blue rule says to use your inside voice. Inside voice. Inside voice. The blue rule says to use your inside voice all day long. Okay, stand back up. And let's see some big ears. The purple rule says to listen well, listen well, listen well. The purple rule says to listen well all day long. Have you guys been listening to your moms and your dads? Mm -hmm. And to your mimis and nanas and papas and papas and everything? Mm -hmm. All right, that's great. So, na 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 na, na 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 na, hey, hey, hey. Great job. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Sit down. Well, we're going to do the weather because it's I'm excited to tell you about this. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it sunny out today? Did you guys see the sun yesterday? It was fantabulous. It was incredible. It was amazing. I love the sun and it, it was just the right temperature. All right, and you know what? They say today is gonna to be just the same, but maybe a little bit warmer. Wow, that's gonna be great, isn't it? Okay, so now we're gonna talk about our new letter. All right, so today our letter is I. I. Look at this. It's, we got uh, the line comes down, and then we have the top and feet. So I'm going to make myself into a letter I. Let's see. I'm going to put my feet straight out, my hands up like this, and you can you see. I'm going to make them come out. I can make a. Does that look like a I? I can make a little I. Oh, you're going to make the little I? That's your dot on top, huh? Maybe your head is the dot. I can make a big I. Okay. I. I says the thing. It. It. So. Look right here. We have an inchworm. And you know what his name is? What? Itchy. 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 Are you, do you ever get itchy? Itchy. I always get itchy. Always itchy starts with I. Itchy. And there's an Indian. You know what, it, uh, what an Indian is? It's a person from India. That's right. The, the, sometimes people call the Native Americans Indians, but really, Indians are people from India. And this is an igloo. Remember when we did that, we cut out little pieces of paper and we glued them on another paper to make an igloo? Because they're made out of ice blocks. And we have an insect. Insect. Which is another name for bug. And measuring tape. Well, no, but this is an inch long. Inch. Inch. An inch. In Africa. No, that's actually Italy. 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 I Italy. thought it was for India. And there's also India. And Ireland, they all start with I. Uh, Indiana, Indianapolis, In Illinois. World. So we're gonna sing about itchy inchworm. And the sun, look, what do you think his, inchworm. wait, what kind of sound do you think he makes? It, 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 it. okay. Itchy inchworm, itchy inchworm. I says it, 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 it. it. Indian and igloo, insect inch in Italy. I says it, it. It, it, that is right. I'm really it. itchy. Now we, now, yeah, you can, if you start thinking about it, you might get itchy. Okay, so that is our I. But what are we going to do with the letter I today? I hmm. know what. What? We can it, it, eat up ice Eat cream. what? Ice cream. Ice cream, yes, you can eat ice cream. Not too much, but maybe just a little. Mm. Right now. Mm-hmm. I can eat ice cream right now. After you eat your food. Dinner. And another thing we're going to do is we're going to put some ice into a little bit of water. This one's already kind of melted. But you can get this, and this is a medicine thing that your mom might have, and you can use it to suck up water. To suck up water and then you'll squirt it on the ice to try to melt it. So you want to start with mostly ice and then just a little Can bit I of water. That? All right. So you put it down in the water, pull it up. Okay, now it's full of water and you can squirt it. Yes. 
Okay, and if you have, uh, have one of those bulb syringes, that would work great for those little guys that need you teach them to put it in there, squeeze, let it go, and pull it up, and then they can squeeze it on things. Also works those little hand muscles. So you're going to do that, and what else could you do? Hmm. I sent your mom and dad. You guys know this. These are our, this is what we call our flown letters, because this is the letter I, and you go down, across, and across, and down, and a dot. And it, th things like inch, igloo, ice cream, and iguana. Iguanas are so cool. Um, but you can put this into a page protector, and you can use it as your placemat, or you can get out your Play-Doh and put it on there, or you can kind of draw on the page protector. So, you're going to be doing that. Um, oh, and guess what? I made another... Um, well, I found this one. Find the difference. And who do you see here? It's Peppa the Pig. I know it doesn't start with I, but they are incredible. So we're going to find their differences anyway. And, oh, we haven't talked about our number yet, have we? Well, our number is seven. Seven. All right, let's count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's clap. We're going to clap seven times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Oh. Everybody clap your hands. That's seven. Everybody clap your hands. That's right. All right. Yep, that's seven claps. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I want you to nod your head seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, don't hit your head on the floor. And seven. What do we know that has seven? Hmm. I know something. What? I could give away some of my stuffies and toys, and and then I have seven of them. Okay, that would be that would be one way. But I was thinking seven days in a week, or seven hmm. of these, or seven dwarves. Have you ever seen Snow White? Snow White has seven dwarves. Um, or so. Look seven around. Words. Look around and find something that's seven. And when you do your number sheet today, ah, huh, I found something that's seven. I don't know. Seven towels. You can find maybe ice cubes, but that would might make my fingers so cold. Um, or you can go outside and find some spring flowers. That would be fun. Uh, or even just pieces of grass. That would work. Pieces um, of grass. Remember when you do your um, drawing or anything. You're going to remember your finger song. I have two hands. I have two hands with ten fingers. I have five on each hand. First there's Thumpkin, then there's Pointer, and the tall one, Middle Man. These three are special. They are busy, and they love to play. They play with toys and hold a pencil in just the right way. Then there's Ring Man and Pinky. They're the sleepy little ones. They hug a pillow and stay sleeping so the busy ones can have fun. So we're going to do that. And let's see. Where's those sheets? Ah, oh, I'm going to do it on the big one so you can see it. Right here. James, can you hand me that blue marker, please? And, okay. I've got it. So... Mm -mm. Yeah. What we're going to do, all right, move out of the way. If you're doing the lines, you're going to start at the top and go down, down stop at the bottom. Make a and this one you're going to make a circle. So you're going to go right. That is like an oval. Well, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this circle upside down. So it's pretty difficult sometimes. But you're going to draw the circle. You're going to start at the green and end at the red. Okay. So we done, oh, we didn't do our phonics song. We mm -hmm. totally forgot about our phonics song. So let's do that now. When we learn these sounds, you'll see. Ready to read, then we will be. A, a, apple, b, 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 k, cat and t, t, doll. A, a, egg and f, f, fan, g, g, goat and h, h, hen. It, it, inchworm, j, j, jam, k, k, kite, and l, lamb, 
Mm, monkey mm, noodle, ah ah octopus and p -p poodle, qu -qu quilt and r -r rail, s -s sun and t -t tail, a uh, uh, umbrella v -v vase. I'm nearly through. See my happy face. What what wagon? Fox. Yeah yeah. Yarn. Say do you see a fox? See him in the z -z zoo. It was fun, and now we're through. Okay. All right. So are you, I hope you guys are having fun with this, and we're gonna have fun with the letter I. Hmm. We keep talking about an inchworm. Do you know what an inchworm does? I know he eats leaves. He does eat leaves. And he crawls really fast. Let's look at our, our picture here. He doesn't have legs all the way down him. He's got some in the back and some at the front. But how does he climb here? Because what he does is he, he stands like this and then he reaches out as far as he can with his front ones and then he pulls his back ones up. And then he reaches ah. out and pulls it up. Ah. So. If you can try to walk like an inchworm, I can. You'd have to stand up. Stand up. Okay. Stand. Here. I'm going to have you stand on this. Okay. Maybe we can show. Okay. Stand right here. Here? Yep. Here. Okay. So you're going to bend over this way bend. and touch your toes. All right. Ready? Touch your toes. All right. Now, walk your hands out. Walk your hands out. Walk out as far as you can. Okay. Stop. Now walk your feet up to your hands. Walk your feet up to the hands. Yep. And you would do that across the floor. Let me try that. Okay. Well, let's don't do it right now, James. But we can try that later. All right. Oh, our Bible story. I love this story. Now, yesterday, remember we talked about Abraham's son named Isaac. What do you think Isaac starts with? What letter do you it does start with I. That uh, is uh, right, Isaac. Laurel. It starts with I. And Isaac grew up, and he ha he got married to this lady named Rebecca. And we're still in the book of Genesis. Because remember, this is the book of beginnings. And God's telling us how he started his special nation of Israel. Israel, Israel. starts with an I, too. It, it, Israel. Okay, so... Yeah. So Isaac married Rebecca, and then she was going to have a baby. But she started feeling something, and it was two babies. And you know what they were doing inside of her? What? Fighting. They were fighting already inside their mama. They were fighting. And so she's got, and her tummy's going this way, and then it's going that way. So when she had uh, the, bo uh, the babies, there were two boys, and the first one came out. And the second one was holding on to the first one. He wasn't going to be left behind. Now, that doesn't usually happen. So, it was very strange that he had this one holding on to the other one. Amazing. And, but the babies were very different. The first one, his name was Esau. And he was had red hair. And he was so furry. It looked like he was a, uh, had a fur coat on. But then Jacob, he had the dark hair. But he had very... Smooth skin, very smooth skin. So he wasn't hairy like his brother. And they fought all the time they were growing up. And then when they got older, they were even more different because Esau liked to go hunting. He went hunting and he would kill things. Was he the furry one? Yeah, he's the furry one. So maybe the other animals thought he was you know, an animal too and they weren't scared. But he would be hunting and he would be out there for days. And you know what that means? What? If you go days in the woods, you don't have a shower, what's going to happen? You're going to get smelly. So he was, he was furry, and he was smelly, and he liked to be outside. Now, Jacob was totally different. He liked to stay inside. Now, um, Isaac loved J uh, Esau because he loved it, that he was out and going hunting, and he would bring home food. And so Esau was Isaac's favorite. Well, Jacob stayed home, and he helped his mom. So, Jacob was his mommy's favorite. And one day, Jake, Jacob had made some stew. Kind of like, it was, it was kind of red, so maybe a tomato stew or something like that. And Esau came in, and he, was, he just left everything. And so, he said, oh, give me some of that soup or I'm going to die. 
he wasn't really going to die, but he was just being a drama queen. And Jacob thought, hmm, because Drake, Jacob was tricky. And he said, hmm, you give me your birthright first. Now, the birthright was something that the oldest child got, the oldest boy would get. And that was like getting a million dollars from your dad because you would get all of, all of your dad's possessions. And so Jacob says, sure, I don't care, have it. And he, is so that he could get the, the soup. And so he gave it all to um, Jacob and he ate the soup. Well, later he started thinking that wasn't a good idea. Huh. And then he got mad at Jacob. So they were still fighting. Well, Isaac got very, very old. And he got so old he couldn't see. All right? he, and he thought he was going to die. He wasn't, but he thought he was. So he said, Esau, come here. And so Esau came. He said, I want you to go and find me some good meat. And Esau said, okay. And, he, and Jake, uh, um, Isaac told him, I'm going to give you a special blessing. And so Esau thought, ah, I'll get the special blessing even if I don't have the birthright. So he went out and he went hunting. Well, Rebecca heard what Isaac was saying. And remember, she loved Jacob better. So she said, Jacob, come here. I want you. To, uh, I'm going to make some food, and you're going to take it into your father and pretend that you're Esau. And Jacob says, it's not going to work. My brother is all hairy, and I'm smooth. And so Rebecca got some goat skin and wrapped it around his arms, kind of like putting a towel around your arms to make it uh, hairy or whatever, rough. And, and Isaac said, I'm still not going to smell as bad as my brother. So Rebecca went, got some of Jake, uh, Esau's clothes, and put it on uh, Jacob. So he smelled like Esau, and he was rough like Esau, but he still had to pretend that he had Esau's voice. So he walks in, he gets the food, and he walks in to, I uh, to Isaac. And Isaac said, who is it? And he said, I'm Jacob. Oh, no, he said, I'm Esau. That would be bad if he said, I'm Jacob. And Isaac didn't think he sounded like, he, he thought he sounded more like Jacob than Esau. He said, come here. And so he came here and he grabbed hold of his arm. He says, well, you feel like, you feel like Esau. And then he pulled him down and he smelled his clothes. And he said, you really smell like Esau too. And he said, but your voice sounds like Jacob. How did you find the, the, uh, the animal so quickly? And, he, and Jacob says, well, God showed me where to do it. And he said, okay. And so when he did, he then he put his hand on his head and he gave him a special blessing that God would protect him and make him a great nation. Well, he, after that, Jacob went out. And then in comes Esau and he's got his food and he comes up. He says, I'm here, father. And Isaac said, what? And he says, I, I brought you the food. Isaac said, well, who was it that just brought me food? And Esau got so mad at Jacob, he wanted to kill him because he had gotten the birthright and the blessing. So Rebecca tells Jacob, go away to my brother's house where my brother lives and hide there until your, your, um, your father is not angry and your brother's not angry anymore. And you know what? what? She never got to see him again. But Isaac lived for many, many years. And he even got to see Jacob when he came back and had a big family. But because Jacob and Rebecca, his mom, had made this trickery, they never got to see each other again. So he had to go away. And so tomorrow we're going to learn more about Jacob. Hey, you know what letter we're doing tomorrow? Yes. What? What comes after I? J. J. And J starts with Jacob. So tomorrow, that works perfectly. We're going to be doing Jacob. All right. So we talked about your assignments. You can eat a little bit of ice cream and just a little bit, not too much. And you're going to, oh, we need to pray for somebody. We need to pray for your doctor. So everybody, put your hands in the air. Hands in the air. Grab a star under your chin. Close your eyes and let's begin. Dear Lord, Thank you so much for my doctor. And thank you. Her name is Dr. Neely. And thank you for her and keep her safe and keep all the doctors and nurses safe so that they can help take care of the sick people. 
In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay. And we have to practice washing our hands because when we leave here, we should, every time you leave someplace, you wash your hands. So let's get some soap and start scrubbing. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands uh, all day long. Scrub the palms and rub the backs. Go between the finger cracks. Scrub the palms and rub the backs. This is the way we wash them. Okay, so I think we've done everything. So now it's time for our goodbye song. Goodbye, Addy. Goodbye, Alfred. Goodbye, Ali. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Autumn. Goodbye, Gwen. Goodbye, Harper. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Hattie. Goodbye, Henry. Goodbye, James. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Jackson. Goodbye, Jonah. Goodbye, Jordy. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Kinsley. Goodbye, Kendall. Goodbye, Lacey. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Laurel. Goodbye, Layla. Goodbye, Levi. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Lucas. Goodbye, Luke. Goodbye, Macy. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Maddie. Goodbye, Melissa. Goodbye, Noah. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Nora. Goodbye, Raylan. Goodbye, Reagan. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Sadie. Goodbye, Sophia. Goodbye, Zoe. We're glad you came today. Bye, everyone.